In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert any Python file or Python project into an executable file that you can run on a machine that does not have Python or the uh, said packages installed. So this is going to work for Python scripts that involve other scripts, so you're importing other modules and stuff like that, and it's going to work for just individual scripts as well. What we're going to be using is called PyInstaller. So the first step, we need to type cmd in our uh, Windows bar down here and just run it as an administrator just for uh, some purposes for installing stuff. So this is going to require that you have pip installed. If you don't have pip installed, uh, well it defaults comes with Python, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in one second. So first thing we want to do is just type pip in our CMD. Now if you got something that looks like what I got and you did not get any errors, go ahead and skip to the timestamp that I'm about to put in the middle of my screen now. If you did not watch uh, until that timestamp, because I'm going to be showing you how to install pip really quickly. So the first issue that you could run into and why you'd be getting this it says something like pip is not in path, it's an unrecognized command. So the easiest way to fix this is to go to uh, just search environment variables in your bottom bar here, click edit the system environment variables, go to environment variables, in path, click edit, and then here click add or uh, add, click new. Okay, so once you click new, in here you're going to type in the, uh, what do you call it, the directory of your Python file. So you can see for me, I'm using Anaconda, and this is the directory. I also have a regular Python one that's not currently in my path. So what you need to do here is simply find where your Python is installed and add that to the path. If you don't know where it is, I'm going to put up a default Python install location on the screen right now that you can simply put in uh, to the path. Once you're done that, click OK click OK and you should be done. Click, click apply and then click OK again and it should be added to your path. Once again, try to click, try to type in pip. If this does not work, then you don't have pip installed in your system and what I would recommend to you is just search Python, click on python.org, go to downloads and reinstall Python. When you do this, it so uninstall Python first, do this. Once this downloads and installs, just wait one second for it to come up. When I click on this, it's going to say, would you want to run this file? Run the file, uh, modify, and then you can add pip by just clicking on this little check mark here, and you can also add it to the path automatically. So here, say add Python to environment variables, click the check mark, and click install. So I guess you don't actually have to uninstall Python first. Are sure you want to cancel? Yes, we're going to cancel because we already have that done. Okay, so once you've done that, now we're ready to move on to creating our executable file. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, is we have to go to the directory where we want to create that file. So I'm going to go in my Python file, and I'm just going to go to games, I'm going to go to golf game, and you can see that here I already have an executable file created, this is just because I tested it out before to make sure everything was working. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to simply type cmd. Once cmd comes up, what you're going to type is pip install pi installer like this, okay? Uh, you should run through this. You can see that it's not installing for me because it's already installed and everything should work fine there. Once you have Pi Installer installed, then you can move to creating your executable. So to do this, you're simply going to type Pi Installer and then you are going to type the name of the file that you want to create an executable of. In this case, I want to do main. Now there's a few flags that you can put here. The first flag is hyphen hyphen one file. I recommend that you type this as what this is gonna do is create everything in one executable file rather than having a bunch of other files. So I recommend you type that. I also recommend you put hyphen w here uh, if you don't want your Python file to bring up the console when it runs. So if you're running a graphical game with Pi game or something, you're gonna want hyphen w. If your project works within the console, then don't put hyphen w, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, now you type your script name. I'm gonna say main.py and click enter. Now this takes quite a while, especially if you have a project with a lot of dependencies and a lot of project like modules and stuff to import. So just wait for that to run. I'm gonna fast forward through this. Okay, so now that that's completed, we can actually exit out of the command prompt window and I'm just gonna show you how to actually run your file. So you can see here that in the directory, it should have created two folders, dist and build. Now build, you can actually delete, you don't need this folder. This main.spec, you don't need that either. So all you need is this dist. So once it loads up, you can see that we now have a executable file, which is main. Now, if you only had one Python file and it has no dependencies, no images, no other imports or anything that you created. So like, for example, in my golf game, I have start screen, 
courses in physics which are imported by main then all you have to do is simply click on this executable file and it will run everything and everything should work now in the case that you do have dependencies which you probably do what you're going to want to do is drag this uh, executable file into the main directory where those dependencies are so for example here uh, so we can delete this dist folder now I need to import images from the image folder and you can see I have images here. I have all these other Python files. So I'm going to need to make sure my executable file is in this main directory. Now, if that's all you wanted to do, everything should be working fine. Just double click on this and do note that since it's such a large application file with a lot of dependencies, this is going to take a while to boot up. Typically for me, it takes between one and two minutes to actually start running uh, as this is Pi game. If you're running just single script, it should not take that long. Okay, so now that we're done that, you guys are welcome to click off the video. However, I am going to show you one really cool thing to make all of this into one file so that you don't have uh, a big folder like this whenever you're trying to run something. So all this stuff can be condensed into one folder uh, using something called NSIS, okay? So what we're going to do is we first need to download and install NSIS. To do that, you can simply just click the link in the description. All you can also do is just type NSIS. You can click on the website and wait for it to load up. Okay, so now that we're on the website, you can simply click on download. It should bring you to a page and you can download NSIS. Just run through and click all the default commands. It's not very important, uh, the installation process of that, okay? Just do whatever is recommended for you. Uh, so now that you have this, it should pop up as a desktop icon. Otherwise, you can simply type NSIS, double click it, run it. You see it says compiler here, simply select compile NSS or installer based on zip file. So actually that leads me to the next point. What we need to do first of all do is click on the folder in which we're trying to like create a big, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, executable for. And we're simply going to click on it and click send to and then compressed, compressed zip folder. Now you can see that I already actually have a compressed zip folder of golf game. So we don't need to do that. Okay, so now you've done that, click installer based on zip file and simply find the zip file. So for me, it's right here in Python games. You double click on your zip folder and then you can just leave all these the same. So now installer name, obviously you can change that to what you want. Interface modern is fine uh, and everything else is just standard. Okay, once it extracts all these files, simply click on generate. Now this will take a while because it's going through a ton of files, at least in my case, it's like something like 250 megabytes. So expect to be waiting here for about a minute or two. I'm just gonna fast forward and then talk about the next steps. Okay, so now that's complete, you can either click test to try to test out your file, or you can click close. Okay, so now that you've done that, you should have something that looks like this, kind of a weird looking icon. You can double click on it when you do this. Okay, so now it brings up a folder like this, or installer. You can simply select where you want to install, click install, and then what it's going to do is simply install this folder in that directory that you chose. So now if you wanted to export this file or you want to upload it or give it to a friend or something, you could simply give them this one application and they can have everything from that. And they don't have to have Python installed on their system or any of the packages or anything that you had when you created the game as it's going to automatically create them in this executable file when you make that executable. Okay, so that's been it for this video. If this helped you out, please make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Python uh, tricks and tips. And with that being said, I guess I will see you guys in another video. Oh,